So good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. Good day, beautiful people. Good day. Are you here for black cake? Yeah. Because your mother, mother, mother makes the best black cake. Yeah. And you make Absolutely. the best black cake. And your neighbor make the best black cake. Yeah. You know, one of the things I have, uh, at this time of year, I, I, I freak out about, if uh, you tell a black woman that they make a good black cake, then you're gonna get that good black key for the next rest of your life. <laughs> if you tell that same woman, I like your pepper sauce, you're gonna get pepper sauce every year from that moment on. <laughs> and if you tell a woman she makes good sorrel or ginger beer or any of that combination or punch the crema, you know what I mean, right? You're gonna get that. Over the 24 years that we were with the bookstore, uh, we told three women one is a nurse, she heals from Antigua. The other woman was a Bayesian, and the other woman was from Trinidad and Tobago. And over the years, we said to the girl, you make good black cake. So for 22 years, that black cake was coming steady and straight. I remember one year, she was doing like 25 shifts, so she couldn't come to bring me black cake. And so December passed, but January passed, and in February, for Black History Month, she showed up with the black cake. And she explained to us how many degrees the black cake was housed in, in the refrigerator and the freezer. But she threw all of white rum, a whole bunch of white rum on the cake on her way to us. Eh? And then we told a woman, I'm gonna say her name, because she's really important in the world of literature. And her name is Dr. Rita Cox. And Michael Lashley standing there could attest to this. And one year we made it the, the mistake of telling Rita Cox, you made the best pepper sauce, right? From that year on, every time we see Rita at Christmas time, she coming through the door and she got big bags. And the big bags, are, what did he big bags? Pepper <laughs> sauce, oh my gosh. She has so much pepper sauce that sometimes when we're in a meeting, like arguing, you just take it out and say to the people, I think you just eat too much pepper sauce. You know that kind of way, right? <laughs> and then we make the distinct mistake in telling no a woman that she made the best punch de crema. And then for the next 22 years, every Christmas she would show up and she would say, girl, how you doing? Fine, yes, yes, you know what? You know what? Good for the punch, the cream. Yeah, 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 we know that. And all of a sudden, the woman, based on our reaction, if we smiling and we inviting, she said, All right, I'm coming back. And she would go to her car. I remember she was a woman who just came to say hello, eh? But when she when she's coming back now, she's a vendor. And she vented in the punch the crema. So now our relationship just shifted. It's no longer a friend coming to visit. No, it's another corporation coming to our corporation to do business. I love these stories of our people. As we take things out of tradition, whether it's the making of food, whether it's a serving of food, however, we bring it to you. And the stories that are associated. Last little thing I was going to say. When I grew up, Christmas time was one of my favorite times. But I would always watch my grandmother knead the bread. You know, it's a whole kneading thing. My grandma used to bake bread, and I swear it took like all day just to make that bread. No, you could make bread in 30 seconds, and we could. You know what I mean? Right? But we would look for the, what do you think you would look for when your grandmother making bread? What is it that we would be looking for? The lumps. The what? The lumps. The lumps. No, listen, my grandmother right now just slap you raw across your head. She bread have the lumps. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? The yeast. Mm. I know you know, but you tell yourself it can't be that. Right? I know you're taking it, but you just tell yourself it can't be that. A bit of the dough. How to play with it. How much is risen? Oh my God, as a mathematical thing, I like that powerful, <laughs> informative risen. How to roll it out? You used to eat the dough, right? You still eating it, right? You know, I know, I know. But I would look for the bread that she rolled out, and then she would take a shilling or twenty-five cents and put it in that bread, and everybody all Christmas time, you identify that particular bread 
because tradition says whoever eats that bread, they have pure good luck for the rest of the year, right? That's a tradition thing, right? And if you share that story with other cultures, they will tell you, Irish people will say, we got a similar thing going on. So if you want to hide your money from your children, <laughs> put it in a sweet bread. <laughs> just, just only say it. Don't leave it anywhere. Put it in a sweet bread. And then you're going to see whoever is attracted to tradition, that that child or individual would obviously show the greater wisdom. You feeling that? So welcome to the People's Place. And I'm so happy that you are here at 7, 7, 7 Bathurst Street, right? Three sevens. So if you're playing the lottery tonight, you're good. But it's like 300 of you playing the same 777. But we okay. Really happy that you are you're here. And this is our third annual Black Cake uh, competition. So for all of you who came out today to say, like, I owe the Black Cake thing, don't did nothing, we good to go. Happy to see all of you. Happy to see the judges. But I know. But what the most important thing I want to say is this. There are a group of fabulous people. There's a woman by the name of Alicia Seeley. She's going to be popping in in a second. There's a woman by the name of Kathleen Barrow. There are fabulous uh, teacher candidates this year. Uh, Miss Ashley in the back and Miss Tania. I I'm on point with that? Tiana. 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 I know it's somewhere in that orbit, Miss Tiana. <clears throat> and they have worked real hard to make this day a wonderful day and a special day and an inviting. And for all of you who are here, we are happy to see you. We hope this is a great day of engagement. Now, judges, I want you to take the criteria very seriously. You gotta think about things like, do I smell the rum from like five, you know, kilometers away? That's part of the criteria of, of judging the black cake. You know what I mean, right? And good people too, if you are the audience too, you also get a chance to participate. And I know right now you're saying to yourself, how can I be involved in this really exciting place that brings you black cake? brings people like this together and all kinds of wonderful things happening here. <clears throat> and so, before you leave today, we want you to sign up on the sign up page to say, let's keep in touch with you. We need volunteers, we need people to do some heavy lifting around here, but we wanna hear your expression and your creativity in the space. And the other thing to tell you, we are engaged in an exciting campaign because the people's residence in about two years or so, we are going to move to this building across the street. And it's going to be our permanent home of African Canadian culture and Caribbean culture in the city. So we want you to join us in that journey as we continue to elevate and lift ourselves into a place where we can experience our history and our culture. And for those of you who have participated today, who rose to the occasion because the moment of history said, I'm going to make the black cake and jump into the competition. I want to say on behalf of the board, the staff, and the folks of the People's Residence, I want to thank you for that. But I want us to give a big uh, applause to Kathleen Bauer, to Alicia C, to Tiana, and to Ash for really working on this project to make this day a success. So I want to give them Contested number two. Contested number two is given the black back black cake story. Here, clap her, clap her. So um, my cake starts um, with my well, it really started with my aunt, the tradition, my mom's um, oldest sister's uh, 
not sure that she created the recipe, but over the years she has tweaked it, and it has become our traditional family black cake recipe. So uh, my mom, um, you know, uh, started in Jamaica, and when she came here, she a few years she made the cake. She, while we were in school, she, we all made the cake, and. Um, after a few years, we thought, okay, it's time for us to get out of this black cake thing and just leave it up to mom. So we bought her um, a blender, big, uh, every beauty blender. And um, we thought, okay, now she can take it from here. And then the uh, first thing she said when she uh, used it, it may not taste like how it tastes when you use your hand. All right. <laughs> yes. So then that was the end of that. So we all had to go back into the black cake business with her and started to grind the butter and the sugar by hand and um, it became um we had to make it fun so all my sisters and us will all have our bowl grinding and we couldn't stop until she tell us that it's smooth enough so she would come pick it up drop it now keep grinding come pick it up now you're good so um <coughs> this is how we all participate in the cake so uh september is when she starts to soak the fruit so she chops the fruit up, um, some of them blend it, and she um, soak it September for two months, and then as soon as December hits, that's when she starts uh, baking, and the result is number two. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. Mm -hmm. from Jamaica, 600 generations strong. Uh, who is the next person up? Okay, I know your name is on. I'm not coming up here and yeah. my name. Oh my God, this is pressure. Andrea. No. Henry. Henry. Andrea. Andrea. I did say Andrea. I, don't, I did yeah. say Andrea. I don't even need a microphone. Good afternoon. I have no sort to tell, but. I was tired of trying everybody else's cake, which some of it was okay, some was not too good. So I decided to try a thing. So I ventured on my own. I don't have no family recipe. I don't have any family history of it. I used to see my aunt as my whole competitor, competitor back there saying, grinding it until the sugar grains were out. Well, you know, we have blenders now. Yeah. We don't need to be doing that. So, I decided to venture out and just try my own thing. And my guinea pigs were my friends who said, you know what, the cake is not bad. So that's my story. I just made up my own recipe and follow my own script. All right, thank you so much. Pardon? I am number four, but I'm technically number one. Yeah. <laughs> You have, to, you have to get over your shyness. I am. I am. Oh, by the way, I did name the cake Dynicious because I was told I have a dynamic personality and I also cook and care on the side too. And I was told my food is delicious. So there goes the name Dynicious. Thank you. Okay. I'm talking about Brandon. I love it. TV show and commercial all at the same time. <laughs> All right, so we've heard from contestant number two and contestant number four. So now I'm reaching out to, con oh, here comes contestant number three. Right. Round of applause, love her up. Hello there. Hello. Have a seat. Have a seat. Uh, Have a seat. Come in closer. This goes way back the generation. It first started with my uncle. Then my mother okay. started, and I, I used to help her. And then it, I was the person doing it. Now, I usually use um, prunes, cherries, and uh, to let you know now, my mother used um, port wine and Barbadian, Mongay rum. Yay! Yeah! 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 Sorry, 
Right. Yeah. 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 Would you believe that recently I got a love car? Yeah. Jamaican white rum. Oh. Yeah. 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 So I, I use the spices and pros. Bake the cake. Keep watch. Make sure that it's it's not burnt. Mm -hmm. So this is my story regarding the cake, and I tried. I do decoration as well, but I'll tell you, it takes time, and in, you you figure out in your mind, well, how am I going to do this? What what should I do? However, however, today I made. I was a shy person. First, let me tell you. I was a shy person. But today brought me out. Good. Mm. My great niece did this to me. Yay. I was a sister. Yay. 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 Grace, right. Okay, great. great. Another round of applause for Grace. Yeah. And when the story is told, it would be said that the place at seven, 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 brought the shyness out of Grace. Oh my gosh, it's like, whoa. <laughs> and now we're going to the final contestant. Final contestant, contestant number one. Number one is hiding. Oh, that's right, contestant number one. Right, there you go. Love her up, love her up, yay! Thank you, I am very shy as well. Oh. <laughs> this is out of my comfort zone. I'm um, being it. here, taking part of this competition is really out of my comfort zone. Excellent. Speaking to the mic. Speaking to the mic. Yeah. Um, so, um, my recipe is really started from Trinidad, where I'm from. Um, I usually, I, I look at my aunt, my aunt-in-law, as a matter of fact. She's one of the greatest cook and also a good speaker. So um, so I would look at her, cook, make pastas, make cakes, sweetbreads, and so on. So I think that's there where I got it. Carol, um, black cake creator is about to give her story and to tell you how she made this black cake and the backstory of the black cake. So, and you, so I just need everybody's attention. Uh, Kathleen, can we take out the music? You just pull up the little thing and boom. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Boom. Perfect. So Carol, which is contestant number two, contestant number two, is given the black back black cake story. Here, clap her, clap her. So uh, my cake starts um, with my well, it really started with my aunt, the tradition, my mom's um, oldest sister's. Uh, not sure that she created the recipe, but over the years she has tweaked it and it has become our traditional family black cake recipe. So uh, my mom, um, you know, uh, started in Jamaica and when she came here, she, a few years she made the cake. She, while we were in school, she, we all made the cake and um, after a few years, we thought, okay, it's time for us to get out of this black cake thing and just leave it up to mom. So we bought her um, a blender, big, uh, every duty blender. And um, we thought, okay, now she can take it from here. And then the first thing she said when she uh, used it, it may not taste like how it tastes when you use your hand. All right. So, <laughs> so then that was the end of that. So we all had to go back into the black cake business with her and started to grind the butter and the sugar by hand. And um, it became, um, we had to make it fun. So all my sisters and us, will all have our bowl grinding and we couldn't stop until she tell us that it's smooth enough. So she would come pick it up, drop it, no, keep grinding, come pick it up, no, you're good. So um, <coughs> this is how we all participate in the cake. So uh, 
September is when she starts to soak the fruit. So she chops the fruit up, um, some of them blend it, and she um, soak it September for two months, and then as soon as December hits, that's when she starts uh, baking, and the result is number two. Mm -hmm. Good Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was contestant number two. And that was Carol. Carol. All right. All the way. Family recipe from Jamaica. 600 generations strong. Uh, who is the next person up? Oh, no, your name is Donna. I'm not coming up here and yeah. taking yeah. up my name. Um, <laughs> this is pressure. Andrea. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Andrea. Andrea. I did say Andrea. I, don't, I did say Andrea. I don't even need a microphone. I can tell no, no, my voice yeah, is yeah, quite big. Like my personality. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. We need to record Stop it. Stop whispering on my ears. <laughs> Good afternoon. I have no story to tell, but I was tired of trying everybody else's cake, which some of it was okay. Some was not so good. So I decided to try a thing. So I ventured on my own. I don't have no family recipe. I don't have any family history of it. I used to see my aunt as my whole competitor, competitor back there saying, grinding it until the sugar grains were out. Well, you know, we have blenders now. <laughs> we don't need to be doing that. So I decided to venture out and just try my own thing. And my guinea pigs were my friends who said, you know what, the cake is not bad. So that's my story. I just made up my own recipe and follow my own script. All right, thank you so much. Pardon? I am number four, but I'm technically number one. You have to get over your shyness. I am. I am. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, I did name the cake. Dynicious because I was told I have a dynamic personality and I also cook and cater on the side too and I was told my food is delicious so there goes the name Dynicious. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Talk about branded. I love it. TV show and commercial all at the same time. <laughs> all right so we've heard from contestant number two and contestant number four so now I'm reaching out to con oh here comes contestant number Three, All round right. of applause, love her up. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Have a seat. Have a seat. Uh, Have a seat. Come in closer. Okay. This there goes way back, way, way back the generation. It first started with my uncle, then my mother she started, and I, I used to help her, and then. I was the person doing it. Now, I usually use um, prunes, cherries, and uh, to let you know now, my mother used um, port wine and Barbadian mangue rum. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Sorry. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Would you believe that recently I got a love for Jamaican white rum? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wine. So I, I use the spices and prunes. I bake the cake. He watch, make sure that it's it's not burnt. So this is my story regarding the cake, and I tried, I do decoration as well. But I'll tell you, it takes time. And in, you, you figure out in your mind, well, how am I going to do this? What, what should I do? However, however, today, I, may, I was a shy person, first let me tell you. I was a shy person. But today brought me out. Good. Mm. My great niece did this to me. Yeah. I did it. I tried. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. This is it. This is my story. All right. Good story. Grace, right. Okay. Great. Another round of applause for Grace. Yeah. And where the story is told, it would be said that the place at seven, 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 brought the shyness out of Grace. Oh my gosh, I, it's like, whoa. <laughs> and now we're going to the final contestant. Final contestant, contestant number one. Number one is hiding. Oh, that's right, contestant number one. Right, there you go. Love her up, love her up, yay. Thank you, I am very shy as well. Oh. <laughs> this is out of my comfort zone. I um, love being it. here, taking part of this competition is really out of my comfort zone. Excellent. Speaking to the mic. <laughs> um, so, um, my recipe is really started from Trinidad, where I'm from. Um, I usually, I, I look at my aunt, my aunt-in-law as a matter of fact, she's one of the greatest cook and also a good speaker. So, um, so I would look at her cook, make pastas, bake cakes, sweetbreads, and so on. So I think it's there where I got my passion. Um, so because I'm also in the food business, so I got She's the greatest cook, I think. Um, and I am next. <laughs> of course. Just kidding. Yeah. Say it loud. Say it loud. Say it loud. Just kidding. No, we're not kidding. We, we, we up there with you. Yeah, so, um, so, yeah, so I, I um, so the, the original recipe, which is the regular truth, you know. Um, so I never, I was never a fan of black cake. Still is not. Um, so I never used to make black cake back home. So when I came to Canada, um, I started making black cake, which is about, um, but not, I'm, I'm, I'm here like over 30 years now, but I did not start at that time. I started with the pastels at first. Oh, okay. Yeah. So nice. I started with the That's pastels. That's next year. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been making black cake professionally for people uh, over 10 years now. Yeah. So um, sometimes it's really, really good and sometimes it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not all the time perfect as I would like it to be. But that's how it is. Life is not perfect. Yeah. Um, so I, I tweak, you know, like um, apart from the original um, ingredients, I usually add. So each year I would try and add different fruits, uh, dates, um, um, apricots, um, well, cranberries as well, um, apart from the prunes and the raisins and the um, <coughs> currants, and mixed peel and cherries. And um, I also um, add different spices as well. And um, as you see in my recipe, the Guinness. So the Guinness, um, I do that sometimes. It depends on the mood, <laughs> right? And um, I don't put too much rum in my recipe. Um, I use sherry brandy, um, wines, cherries, basically, and some rum. And to top it off, when it's finished big, I use the brandy. Yes. So, yeah. So, so it's not um, it's not too rummy, <laughs> as you say, <laughs> to get you tipsy. But um, you know, once it stays there and it, you know it ferments, of course, it would get you tipsy. <laughs> so, um, so that is about it. Um, so I do have a couple cakes on, for sale if anybody is interested. I did work with extra. And um, I have my cards there. I do pastels for Christmas. I have a Christmas list. I do pastels. I do phones. I, I make the best phones. <laughs> I was told that all the I, I am always told that. So I would say it. I, miss, I make the best phone. What's the phone? Phone. What is it? It's cassava, coconut, 
mm. a touch of pumpkin, mm. usually sweet potato. That's okay. yeah. I got it. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes I omit the sweet potato. Yeah. And um, yeah, sweet breads. Yeah. So that's my story. Yeah, woo! So a round of applause for Debbie, 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 Debbie. Excellent, excellent. And you notice a lot of people are influenced by their aunts. You've noticed that, eh? Yeah. And, and, and do you notice something too, that everybody talks about the original recipe, but they never tell you what it is? I thought, oh my God, this is like Colonel Sanders KFC. The original recipe. Hook me up with it, right? <laughs> oh, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. So, the judges are ready, but has everybody put into their ballots? If all the people, you put in the people's choice. Everybody has a ballot. Has everybody voted? One more person to vote. People's choice. Close it off. You put your yeah. Hand. If you need a ballot, my passion. Um, so, because I'm also in the food business, so I got. She's the greatest cook, I think. Um, and I am next. <laughs> of course! Just yeah. kidding! Yeah. Just say it loud! Say it loud! Say it proud! Say it proud. Yeah. Yeah. Just kidding! Um, no, we're not kidding! We, we, we up there with you! Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, yeah, so I, I, um, so the, the original recipe, which is the regular <laughs> truth, you know, um, so I never, I was never a fan of black cake, still is not, um, so I never used to make black cake back home. So when I came to Canada, um, I started making black cake, which is about, um, but not, I'm, I'm, I'm here like over 30 years now, but I did not start at that time. I started with the pastels at first. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So nice. I started with the That's pastels. That's next year. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've been making black cake professionally for people uh, over 10 years now. Yeah. So, um, Sometimes it's really, really good, and sometimes it's good. <laughs> so it's not all the time perfect as I would like it to be, but that's how it is. Life is not perfect. Yeah. Um, so I, I tweak, you know, like um, apart from the original um, ingredients, I usually add. So each year I would try and add different fruits, uh, dates. Um, um, apricots, um, well, cranberries as well, um, apart from the prunes and the raisins and the um, <coughs> currant, uh, mixed peel, and cherries. And um, I also um, add different spices as well. And um, as you see in my recipe, the Guinness. So the Guinness, um, I do that sometimes. It depends on the mood. <laughs> <laughs> right and um, I don't put too much rum in my recipe um, I use sherry brandy um, wine cherries basically and some rum and to top it off when it's finished big I use the brandy yes. so, yeah so <laughs> so it's not um, it's not too rummy <laughs> as you'd say <laughs> to get you tipsy but um you know once it stays there and it you know it ferments of course it would get you tipsy <laughs> so um so that is about it um so i do have a couple of cakes on for sale if anybody is interested i did work with extra and um, I have my cards there. I do pastels for Christmas. I have a Christmas list. I do pastels. I do phones. I have, I make the best phones. <laughs> I was told that all the I I am always told that. So I would say, I miss I make the best phone. What's a phone? Phone. Phone. What is it? It's cassava, coconut, mm. a touch of pumpkin. Mm. Usually sweet potato. That's okay. yeah. I got it. Yeah. But sometimes I omit the sweet potato. Yeah. And um, yeah, sweet birds. Yeah. So that's my story. Yeah, woo! So a round of applause for Debbie, 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 Debbie. Excellent, excellent. 
And you notice a lot of people are influenced by their aunts. You've noticed that, eh? Yeah. And, and, and you notice something too that everybody talks about the original recipe, but they never tell you what it is. <laughs> I thought it was like, oh, this is like Colonel Sanders KFC. The original recipe. Hook me up with it, right? <laughs> Well, the boys in the pub start to laugh at the man. They say nothing you can do, the cat don't need the ham. So buy pizza, salt fish, and go back home. And later we go make a piece of soup with the bone.